College football bowl action on Saturday. It's Pitt taking on Ole Miss in the Compass Bowl. The, uh, the Pitt Panthers, a three and a half point underdog in this one. Total sitting at 54, and this is a free pick for me in just a moment. Brian, one of the things we've talked about every year when it comes to the bowls and how we handicap the games is motivation. And what we know out of Ole Miss is they are highly motivated to be in this game. I mean, Hugh Freeze has done a tremendous job. They go from 2-10 and 10 last year to in a bowl game this year. The ticket sales, the fan base for Ole Miss was reportedly greater than any other SEC team for any bowl game in the first two weeks that tickets were on sale. You also have the first coach, I mean the uh, coach in his first year at a team situation going on in this one. Pittsburgh not showing up as much excitement to be in this one. Third straight ship trip to Birmingham, uh, but again, it's, it's over three. It's three and a half in those uh, SEC defenses have not looked too hot so far in the bowl games. Yeah, not looking good at all. In fact, you take a look at the Rebels all season long. They've given up 20 points to all but one team they've played. Let's take a look at Ole Miss' schedule this year. Um, they beat Mississippi State, Arkansas, Auburn, Tulane, UTEP, and Central Arkansas. Uh, they only beat one team who made it to a bowl, Mississippi State. Mm -hmm. Mississippi State just lost by 14 to Northwestern, a middling Big Ten school. Uh, the SEC has not been impressive in these games at all, and, and Coach Christ is, is staying. Everything we've heard, he's staying. Yeah, he said he's going to stay no matter what. And, and that's big for these kids for pick. This is their third coach in three years. Well, here's, here's the thing. You remember going way back to uh, week one when we were on a Thursday night uh, first preview radio show, and we're talking about the Pitt Panthers, of course, Marco being from Pitt. And we, I think it was the week after Youngstown had knocked off Pittsburgh and, and Paul Christ. First game as their head coach. By the way, we have two coaches. I was just waiting to see if somebody was going to say something about the advantage, but two coaches in their first bowl game for their respective teams. But then they came out the next week and just looked completely out of sorts against the Cincinnati Bearcats defensively. But man, they're six and four the last 10 games, Mark. They've been a much better football team in their last 10 games. The last two have been outstanding. Your thoughts on this one? You're the guy from Pittsburgh. I want to hear what you say about this one. Well, this is a situation. This is not the same Pitt team that you saw at the beginning of the season. They closed the season. You know, yeah, both teams come in here at six and six, but they come in different six and sixes. Pitt did theirs at the end of the season. They've rolled into the into the bowls. They won four of their last six games, where Mississippi lost three of their last four and had to win the final game in the rivalry game against Mississippi State just to become bowl eligible. The other thing is Pitt's on an eight and three against the spread run. They've really only played one bad game down the stretch. In that one game, we were all over it. I mean, it was one of my bigger plays is when Pitt went to Connecticut on a Friday night. That was the week right after the Notre Dame game. Right. They had to play on a short week. The other game that they lost was Louisville. They lost by 10 points. We saw what Louisville did the other night against Florida. I mean, Louisville, much better team than anybody really gave them credit for. I'm just uh, going to say Florida didn't care. Yeah, right. I, I didn't yeah, say that. Half an hour. I'm not a Louisville guy this year. They, but they, got, they got the job done. They, they, beat, oh, Rut, they, they, they beat Rutgers to get to the um, Sugar Bowl, mm -hmm. and then they uh, did what they had to do uh, last night against Florida. I look at this Pitt team, the one thing, you guys already mentioned it, but you it's just you can't put past how important it is. This is the third time that they've gone to this bowl game, three straight years. There's just one difference, and I, I said it on the Pittsburgh radio show I did last week. They're bringing a coach with them right. for the first time. Yep. They have not had a guy that not, did not abandon them right before a bowl game, and this team is pumped up for that. Now, I know, you know Mississippi's got a lot of fan base that's going to be at this game. That's going to be an advantage for them, but Pitt plays sound defense. I think Pitt will get this game. I like Pitt in the game. No, well, this one's my free pick. I'll get to it. <clears throat> How can I go against Mr. Pittsburgh when he's on the Pitt Panthers? That's what I'm going to say as far as my free pick is concerned. But, no, he's right. Tino Sanceri has been great after the first couple of games. He's got a 19-2 to two touchdown to INT mark right now going into this game. You hit it on the head with Paul Christ at, at, as the coach. You might not see a lot of Pitt fans making the trip. I don't know if they travel well anyway over the years uh, and it, since it's been there you know, a long time since their glory years. But the bottom line is, is the players are all I'm worried about being motivated. And I think you hit it on the head when you said Paul Christ has already shown that respect to his players in the locker room. His 
defensive coordinator, Dave Huxtable, has moved on. He's going to be coaching the same position with the NC State next year. They did suspend one of their starting offensive guards for this game. But I learned when I was 11 years old that when you suspend a lot of players or starters in bowl games, it usually picks up the slack all around them. And I'm talking about that Arkansas-Oklahoma game from back in the 70s when Lou Holtz went in as an underdog and Arkansas beat OU. I think it was 36-6. to Not worried about that offensive line problem. I think you get the better quarterback. And believe it or not, as good as Hugh Freeze has been, I like Paul Christ a little bit better. I'm going to back the Pitt Panthers here, plus the points in Saturday's Compass Bowl. When we come back, we move on to the NFL wildcard round action right here at pregame.tv.